Most people are making these assertions based on something they read or something they think. We only teach you what we know works from <clears throat> our results. We have too much respect for people to tell you what we think. So yesterday in Smoothie Shred, somebody put a post up uh, saying that uh, there's a doctor's book that I'm reading that just really resonates with me. And she says that uh, smoothies that are made out of vegetables and fruit, blending the fruit is basically the same as eating candy bars. And so then she asks, is this, is this true? And I gave her the same lesson I just gave you guys. I said, you got to question the question, right? By looking at number one, what would be the outcome if that were true? And number two, are you seeing that outcome? So, you know, Smoothie Shred, we have over 17,000 members that have been doing smoothies worldwide. We have doctors all over the place recommending our smoothies. So if the outcome uh, were true, uh, that drinking these smoothies is like eating candy bars, then we would have just scores and scores of people developing diabetes, getting obese, Ugh. having all sorts of high sugar related issues, right? Uh, so that's never happened in the history of, of Smoothie Shred. So the outcome, the results, the real results completely invalidates the question. So my response was, was quite harsh because I wanted to really send a signal to everybody about this is number one, uh, that statement, if you are quoting that statement exactly in the right context, it's a completely idiotic and untested statement. And number two, the real world results don't support it. So therefore the entire theory is completely invalidated. And so is the question. So, you know, I urge people stop asking questions like this because it, it serves no one. And it, it only it only just serves to make you anxious. Oh gosh, most people are making these assertions based on something they read or something they think. We only teach you what we know works from <clears throat> our results. We have too much respect for people to tell you what we think. We like to talk to each other about our thoughts and theories, but what we teach the public and what we do, it is sacred to us that we only do what works for people. We have way too much respect for people to give them our theories. And unfortunately, a lot of people out there don't take that oath as sacredly as we do. They tell you what they think. And I've had online arguments with well-respected doctors who I respect, who have written blogs saying that exa exact same thing about smoothies. And that person never tested them because I, I went after them, never tried them, never tested them, has no results in their patients, just made it up. Like, oh, it, I think it would happen, but people will listen because they respect their degree. And I think that that only harms people. We only teach what works and it works so well that nobody can come close to what we do. Um, and so sometimes it gets frustrating too to have to even defend that, you know, because it's like, who's saying that? But, um, you know, it's hard. I know it's hard for, for everyone out there to know, what do I do? Who do I trust? And what I would say is, even if you have doubts at this point, which I hope you don't, <laughs> but if you do, that's okay. What you want to do is give this all you have, do it our way, all you have, put everyone else's thoughts aside, commit fully to doing what we tell you to do. And then if by some chance you graduate and you didn't get what you wanted, test somebody else's thing. It doesn't happen. Um, but that's what I do. Just like when Thomas challenged me that you know, I was arguing with him about fat loss when I was the one that had to lose weight. And what did I do? I said, okay, I'm going to suspend my arguments. I'm going to suspend everything I've ever learned because in medical school, I learned it wrong that calories in, calories out. It's not even true. I suspended it all to say, fine, I'm going to do exactly what you say and let's see what happens. And then the rest is history. So I would say to you that even if you still have questions and you've heard so many conflicting things, I get it. The internet is scary with how much bad information is out there. Just since you decided to do this, commit fully to it and say, okay, whatever this experience is, I'm going to stop Googling. I'm going to stop listening to anything else. I'm just going to dive in all the way and just do whatever, uh, whatever these coaches tell me to do. And then let's just see what happens. And you will be glad. You will be glad that you did that. <laughs>